If you've been on this channel for a while, you would have known how much of a fan I am of Final Cut Pro. I've been using it since 2011 and I've used it on various commercial and corporate client projects as well as to edit these YouTube videos. And over the years, the Final Cut Pro plugin market has grown exponentially. And if you're like me and you've been editing for an extremely long time, you would have started to have built up a toolbox of plugins that help you every single day to make the editing process a lot easier. From titles to effects to transitions and presets that help speed up what we do every single day. So today I thought I'd dive in and share what my go-to favorite plugins are for Final Cut Pro, why I use them and how they speed up my editing process for these YouTube videos. Welcome back to the channel guys, I'll be doing fine and dandy. Today's video is all about plugins. More specifically, my top five favorite plugins that I use all the time inside of Final Cut Pro. Now I use more than five plugins in my videos and I make some of my own occasionally, but these are the five that I go to every single time. To the point where if I was starting fresh with Final Cut Pro, these are the ones that I would get immediately. So with that said and done, let's dive in with the first plugin on this list and that is Grow and Shrink from Alex 4D. Grow and Shrink is a very simple and easy plugin, but it's one that I use constantly in every single video. And what it does is it simply zooms in or zooms out of an object over a period of time. Now this is really useful if you have static images that you wanna give a nice soft zoom in or a zoom out just to create some movement so the image doesn't look as boring. The controls are pretty simple and self-explanatory. You have two sliders that control the starting and end position of the zoom. And you can change these if you wanna make it zoom in or zoom out. You can also change the center point of the zoom so you can change where the focal point of that zoom starts and ends. And you can also change the start and end time offset so you can make it start later or finish earlier depending on what kind of effect you want to achieve. And then you can also give it a nice ease in and ease out to make the movement not as linear by adjusting the curvature slider. And the reason why I really love this plugin is that it does all of this with no keyframes. Just throw the plugin onto the clip make some changes and you're pretty much done. It's free, it's simple, and it's incredibly useful. So I highly recommend it if you don't have it. And as a bonus, I highly recommend picking up Alex 4D's adjustment layer plugin as well. And for those that don't know, an adjustment layer allows you to add multiple effects and transformations to a single layer that will affect all of the clips underneath it. It's like putting a global filter across everything in your project and it's incredibly useful for things like color grades or adding a letterbox to your entire project. Oh, and by the way, I've left links to that plugin and all the other plugins that I mentioned in this video down below in the description if you want to pick them up and try them out for yourself. Moving on to our next plugin and it's from a company called Motion VFX. And spoiler alert, there's going to be a couple of plugins from Motion VFX. They're not sponsoring this video, but they do make some incredible plugins. And this one is one of my favorite ones and it's their M Cam Rig plugin. And what it is, is it is a custom title that simulates a 3D camera inside a Final Cut Pro. Simply drag the title over your footage and then you're greeted with a bunch of controls that you could spend hours tinkering with. You have controls over the X, Y, and Z parameters as well as animation controls for those properties as well. And the same thing goes for the rotation too, so you can create some nice orbiting effects around different objects to create some really stylistic B-roll in your video. Now I use this all the time for things like websites where I want to create a bit more of a dynamic, interesting look for that static web page and create a bit more movement and create a bit more polish for the final video. And there's plenty of other really creative and cool things you can do with this plugin so if you want to pick it up i highly recommend it and i did mention it was free right it is free it's a free plugin i think i mentioned that earlier but if i didn't link down below if you want to pick that up our next plugin is also by motion vfx and it is called m flare 2. m flare 2 is a lens flare plugin and it's the first paid plugin on this list and it's available for final Cut pro and apple motion it comes with some really cool lens flare effects that you can throw onto your footage to make it look even more cinematic this plugin is a very feature rich plugin there's actually a tracker built into the plugin so you can track objects within your footage and attach the flares to them. You see this? Yeah? Look at that. Not even on. Battery's dead. Pretty cool, huh? Now, I use this plugin all the time in product montages, where you wanna create a nice cinematic looking montage of all the B-roll for a particular product with the lens flares poking in on the left and the right hand sides of the frame. You could say, just adding a bit more flare to the B-roll, 
Huh? Huh? Bit more flair? Did you, did you get it? Was that a good joke? Should I move on? Is this awkward now? Okay, I'll move on. <laughs> it is a very powerful plugin with a ton of customization and it's something that I use all the time in my toolbox. Link for that down below, which by the way is an affiliate link. So if you do decide to pick up that plugin, you will also be supporting me in the process. So thanks. And speaking of supporting me, if you are enjoying this video and if you're finding it useful and if you think other creators might benefit from learning about these kinds of plugins, then uh, give the video a like and uh, make YouTube a better place. Thanks. So moving on, I'm bringing you another plugin from Motion VFX. I did say there'd be a few of them, but this one is their entire collection of MTuber plugins. I've used all three MTuber plugin packs they've released across the entirety of my YouTube videos, and there's a good reason for it. Each pack contains several high quality animations and effects to make it easier to make YouTube videos. Things like subscriber callouts, split screens, zooms, highlights, and so on. They also come with intros, titles, transitions, and backgrounds that are super useful if you're creating a variety of content and you'll have probably have seen a lot of those animations on my channel as well as other youtubers because they are that good and their latest plugin mtuber 3 is actually available for davinci resolve as well which is pretty awesome so you can now get all of these awesome titles and effects inside of davinci resolve as well and as a bonus mention their m channel clean and m channel modern plugins are also fantastic for youtubers as well and you may notice there's some inspiration from those plugin packs on this channel because i think they look really Cool. And by the way, links for all of those are down below in the description, both for Farnica Pro and for Resolve, if you want to pick them up and try them out for yourself. And last but not least, my all-time favorite plugin is Add Motion from FX Factory. This plugin has really changed how I use Farnica Pro, and it really has reduced the need for me to use any other program for my motion graphics work. The plugin is simple but effective. It allows you to animate position, scale, and rotation for graphics and titles inside of Monica Pro without any keyframes. And I know that sounds pretty average for most people, but I know every single editor watching this right now has just got a little bit excited by what I just said. <laughs> All you need to do is drag and drop the plugin onto the video clip or graphic that you want to animate, and you can customize the animation for that particular asset. The position, scale, rotation, and so on, and you can create ease and whiz animations with just a few clicks. I now use this all the time in my videos for things like logos, graphics, animations, as well as for zooms and punch-ins to emphasize things I'm talking about. The the amount of time this plugin has saved me having to jump back and forth between motion or after effects to create graphics is absolutely worth the price of the plugin. And along with the actual plugin itself, it comes with several other flavors of the same plugin, things like pop and swing, as well as things like motion blur and color trials to add some flair to the movement of your animations. There's also text versions for all of those to create some really cool dynamic text animations, and it even comes with its own custom adjustment layer. What more can you ask for? If you guys are interested in picking up any of the plugins that I mentioned in this video, then go ahead, check them out. Links are down below. Let me know which one was your favorite. And if you want to see more videos where I talk about editing and motion graphics and making your own cool stuff, then go ahead and check out this special playlist that I made just for you. And until next time, take care.